Hi guys, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a pair of Air Jordan 11 Concords from YesKicks.cn. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description below and also pin it in the comment section. So you'll have a link to the shoes if you want to purchase them. And yeah, they accept payment through Bank of America, uh, Western Credit Union, and MoneyGram. Well, actually, I don't think they do MoneyGram, it's just Western Credit Union and Bank of America wire transfer. And it's very safe, you can get your shoes in 5 to 7 days. If you use DHL, which is what I would recommend. So yeah, as you can see, the shoe looks very nice. And this is the box itself. It's like the OG Adrian 11 box. No pullout box like the other ones, because this is what they're doing for this year's release. It says Nike Air on the side. And then as you can see, the size tag. The label, it reads Air Jordan 11 Retro White Black Concord. And that's what it says. This is size 10. And yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into the review. So basically, um, another thing. The inside, this is this is the other shoe. Some people think I'm... I don't know why people think I'm, I'm going to have both shoes out. I only need to review one of the shoes because they're both the same. It just flipped. But the inside, it comes with this black paper. As you can see right here, this black paper. But yeah, usually when you get a shoe with like clear soles you want to put the paper under the shoes so that way the soles don't yellow fast so that's just a tip for anyone buying shoes with clear or icy soles so anywho let's go ahead and get straight into the review some key features of the shoes that this year's version is trying to be more like the OG so the patent leather has a higher cut as you can see both Jumpman are facing the exact same way just like the Space Gems from well sorry when I say the opposite way they're both facing the opposite direction, they're not facing the same direction as in older models before 2016, as you can see. They're both facing the opposite direction. And they say 45 on the back. So, yeah. And this year, the 45, unfortunately, is printed on. So, like, it can come off, but if you, if you get, like, printed paper, like a heat transfer paper, you can go ahead and find the 45 online in the same size and font and you can just go ahead and heat press it on here which is cool but it's kind of a waste of money it, it would have been better if they had stitched it on but that's neither here nor there and then on the middle right here it says Jumpman Jordan and you have to read it from you have to read it from the side that's what it's, that's how it's supposed to be read it says J-U-M-P-A-N the Jordan logo Jumpman Jordan logo in Concord purple then it says Jordan right here going down. Pretty cool. It's in the right space, the third space. The laces are the right thickness. This part is mesh. All right here is mesh. And then right here is leather. It's a nice soft leather, which I like. Good quality. And the patent leather is smooth. It's not cloudy. And this is the, the toe cap. It's see-through, as you can see. So you can see the patent leather right under it right through it right here and the back of the shoe has the correct triangular point and there are widow's peaks in the patent leather as you can see like right here small widow's peaks not as big as the space jams but still widow peaks on the patent leather cuts and apparently the OG Jordans had the widow's peaks that's why they're doing it like this and then of course the carbon fiber on the side is black and this is how the carbon fiber is supposed to sound so yeah, it's just the carbon fiber test. And then right here, the Jumpman is white. And then it has the Concord purple hits on the pods right here and right there. And then the black carbon fiber goes under the the translucent sole as well, which is pretty cool. Which That's what makes it a good basketball shoe for the traction. And the sh thing I really like about this year's model is that the the soles just keep getting icier and icier because older models from like back in like early 2000s and like the original pairs they were clear so they yellowed really fast and when shoes have yellow soles they look just so nasty it looks like you just stepped in like a puddle of yellow like urinated water it looks nasty but that's why I like these newer models the soles will be icy for years to come which is pretty cool and then I guess another thing I forgot to show you was the shoe shoe it's covered in paper and then it has this purple hard plastic uh, insert which I always liked about it a lot. I wish they did it for all the shoes because then when you put it inside the shoe 
it like keeps the shape of the shoe. So I wish all of them were as solid for every pair of Jordans. And then on the inside, it says Nike Air. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me bring that a little closer. It says Nike Air on the inside. And the Nike Air is white. And the insole is black. So yeah. I think that about wraps it up for the shoe. I don't think I missed anything else. So yeah. Just a, another quick look at the shoes. Get that focus real quick. Get the 45s on the back. So yeah, the Concord, this is the, one of the most anticipated releases of the year. So, one of the most popular colorways. And it has the 45 on the back. It would have been cool if they had the 23. But, I guess, this is, this is what Michael Jordan had on his shoes when he came out of retirement. So, maybe one day, the 20, one for the 23 will be back. But for now, this is what we have. So, that will be all for the video. And, uh, yeah. For the next part of the video, I'm going to show you guys how they look like on feet. So, stay tuned. And... Peace. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe and share this video with your friends. And I'm out. Peace.